came in, the air went out. And every shadow filled up with doubt. Bonsoir à tous, je suis ravie de vous retrouver ici à Paris sur Orange Cinémax pour une émission spéciale, un max de troublod et j'ai le grand privilège d'être accompagné ce soir autour de ce bar par les acteurs de la série. Ils vont nous parler de l'univers troublod du créateur Alan Ball, de ce qui vous attend dans cette très attendue saison 2. Alors, Alexander Skarsgård, bonsoir. Bonsoir Sophie, ça va Ça va bien ah, très Qui bien. interprète donc Eric. Michel Forbes, vous êtes Marianne. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, ça va Très bien, et vous eh, yes. Sam Tramel. <rire> Sam et Sam. Sam et Sam. Oui, c'est la même chose. Hein. Et vous parlez très bien français Non. Non, si, c'est pas vrai. Je vous assure vrai. que si. Non. Si, si, vous allez voir. Un peu de troublade et ça va, ça va venir tout seul. Et bonsoir, Routina Wesley. Bonsoir. Bienvenue à Paris. Vous incarnez donc Tara. The first thing I noticed watching you together is, is that it seems there is a very nice team spirit between all of you. When I... we feel a camera pointing our way, we laugh and have fun together. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend yeah. we get along. Yes. But yeah. not at all. What? You don't like me. <laughs> is there a leader among you? A leader? Yeah. Oh. Alan Ball. I just really need to work on stuff that I myself would watch. Yeah. Yes, chef. He is a good chef. What you hope for more than anything is that the show will take on its own life. Nice dialogue with good casting. At that point, you get out of the way. I mean, to me, he's the actor's director. I always say he knows how to give constructive criticism and get the results he wants without making you want to run into a corner and cry. Um, <laughs> which, is, which is nice of him. Which is, which is very nice of him. Um, but he's very, he, it's, he creates a, a safe environment for us to play. Um, and have and feel free to to create these characters and, and play off of each other and um, you don't always get that sometimes you get a director that is like do this go over there say it like this and he's he's very much go play it's 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 one there, there's a beautiful trust involved there's a massive trust when when you're working with Alan Ball and our writers yeah and the other thing about Alan is uh, that he, he's different from a lot of other showrunners is he's not a micromanager he kind of lets Quiet. people He hires good department heads. He hires sometimes good makeup and hair. He casts good and he hires people that he trusts. And so then he kind of, he kind of stays out of everybody's way, even though he's, he's there in the editing room being very specific with how he edits it, edits it and, and very specific with the writing. And, uh, and he's watching it very carefully, but he's also letting it kind of breathe on its own and become its own thing. And he's, he's confident enough to know that he, hi he hires the right people and lets everybody kind of do their thing. In that sense, it's, a, it's an extraordinary environment to work in because it's, it's about support and love and nurturing and not about withholding. And sometimes there's a, there's a chasm between the actors and the writers and that does not exist on this show. And on the first day of shooting, do you know everything about your character, what's going to happen? Because I know sometimes TV shows, you don't know if you're going to be killed at the... I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Like, <laughs> really? No, yeah. we start season three in less than a month, and I have no idea what's going to happen. Like, bloggers, and, like, they know more than I do. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Is that frightening or challenging? It's always a little or... scary, you know? But exciting at the same time, <laughs> exciting. I think. But it I, is exciting. I, I, I mean, it's always so fun to get the scripts, because I know when I get a script, it's, it's like, it's just like gold. You're like, all right, I'm going to go. When am I going to read this? All right, I'm, I'm going to sit secret. down in bed. Yeah. I mean, first, I'm going to see how big my part is. Okay, fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to, like, you know, and then I'm going to, like, And then I'm going to call my agent and go, yeah. And then I call <laughs> my agent and say, what's going on? Like two sentences. And then I'm going to get sit down in bed with, you know, or whatever. But it's always, it's always so exciting to get the script and, and read, you know, because it's just, they're such page turners that you just, It's you Christmas. Know. It's like yeah. Christmas. I would say it it's really, Christmas. It's really it really fun. is that glee of Christmas morning. You get that script and you're just like, yeah. and it's still kind of a little hot. And you and, open it up. And, but also, it's not just about, you know, your storyline and, and my character. You get so sure. involved. The evolution of, uh, with, of I, was, I was obsessed with the Fellowship of the Sun storyline. And then you're at the table reads and what have you. But then when you see it, I tuned into the show. I didn't care about my stuff. I just wanted to see everybody else's stuff. I wanted to see your stuff with Godric. I wanted to see Bill and Sucky going off to Dallas. I wanted to see the Fellowship of the Sun. I wanted to see everything else. And it's well, just... that's the reason because there's so much going on on the show. Like we, we've been on the show for a year and a half together, and we never worked together. Never worked yeah. together. So like when I watch the show, two thirds of it is like 
I watch it as an as, like I'm the audience, you know, because yeah. I, I was never involved in that. Nothing you say about vampire rights is gonna change my mind, because I am a vampire. And also, you know, even at the table reads, you know, as you read the script and at the table reads, you'll read something, you know, Bill and Sookie make love. And you're like, yes, all right, well. And then you see what it's turned into through production. Yeah, because the visual side of the, yeah. visual of the show side, is amazing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And, and, and what is created through, through the process and, and of... are there any discussion? Uh, uh, and maybe you can say, I like this evolution for my character, or... Is that always surprising? I mean, can you, for example, say, I'd like Tara I may, maybe to be more happy in love or, or yeah. more sex scenes or less sex scenes? <laughs> or I don't know. <laughs> I mean, do you have an influence? <laughs> I think I think we do have an influence. I think that's kind of the the great freedom that Alan Ball allows us to come up and be like, "Hey, can I have? Can she be a little bit more positive? Can I not be like Debbie Downer all the time?" Um, but I um, I trust them completely. They've yeah. given my characters such great range and such a great journey to play, to 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 go on that I really don't have any complaints. Mm. Um, uh, it's it's always classy and, and tasteful yeah. in all the things that I have to do, and so I just delve in, you know, 150%. But I do hope that she finds a true romance and finds some happiness, finally, in her, in her life, you know, um, because she's had such a tormented childhood. And I go through those about as fast as I go through relationships. Maybe you haven't found the right one yet. I've had a lot of jobs. I ain't talking about that shit. We need to see in pain. <laughs> we like you in yes. pain. Yeah. Okay, that's We're fine. Like I can do pain. <laughs> do pain. It's yes, good. you can. Um, and you get plenty more of that. But uh, among <laughs> the things I really like, especially about your character, Alexander, is that you you have to remain very first degree, very serious, saying sometimes very wild things or having very strange things in your hair. So you gotta help me. You've already, you've seen the second uh, sure. season. I mean, God. I have to have some privilege sometimes. Oh, first. Uh, <laughs> she's special. Well, we can't talk about it. I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm not a she's vampire, I'm not a goddess, but I'm special. But you, you have seen the second <laughs> season of Two Blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, is he always serious and focused? And, and yeah. focus on uh, the scene and, and your, your fellow actors and, and not think about what, what, what you have in your hair or, or whatnot, you know? <laughs> it's like one of the things about the show is we all sort of play it straight. Yeah. You and have and to. we don't wink at the audience. And, yeah, and, and, yeah and, just and, never the joke. Yeah, but exactly. You can't play the joke. And, and then you just kind of trust that, that Alan Ball and the writers are going to kind of tweak it in the editing room or, you know, they'll make it. They'll, de they'll, they'll decide what genre you're in, yeah. you know, because it's yes. so many different genres well going, you know, and we just kind of play the scenes. And that's why I think it works well, because everybody, you know, the actors just kind of are play it straight and aren't, yeah. you know. And I think sometimes, I don't know, for me, I, I, I felt that sometimes I didn't even know that was the joke. Maybe that means I'm a, <laughs> I'm a silly actor. But, but you're, you're, you're so invested in what's happening and the intention of what the writers you have You had to do some stuff this year the second season that was really intense that you know you had to trust it was nothing but trust yes <laughs> nothing but i mean nothing but end, oh my god it's extreme a lot of the situations are very extreme